Well, today I lost my hunting partner, Kurt. He said, well, if everyone else is sitting water, I'm sitting water. I'm gonna kill one. <laughs> so he's gonna kill one today. So today I'm going out there and I think Mr. Jim, don't find one. He's gonna come and help us. Every javelina I've killed in Arizona, Jim has been with me. <laughs> Haven't you? So I'm gonna find a deer though. I'm gonna okay. find a deer. I'm gonna focus all my energies on a deer. All right, stand by for javelina. Got a pair of worms last night. We saw some javelina over here about three quarter of a while. But we saw six deer just hardly even looking, just right behind me here. So I thought, well, there's probably a lot of deer in here. Come in here this morning with my buddy Jim and I've only seen four deer, or I have. It's day five. I'm the last holdout when it comes to sitting water. Kurt sit in water today because he's smarter than I am. And he wasn't the fool who said, I ain't sitting in any water like I did. So, now that I've disclaimed any chance of sitting water, I gotta find some deer and start getting some stocks. We got today and tomorrow to get it done. I gotta get with the program here. Randy and I have split up. We've been hunting together every day until today. Randy refuses to hunt water. I don't. So here I am. Um, we got in here right at daylight and kind of made this makeshift blind. In fact, Marcus hunted here yesterday and did really good. And uh, he killed a deer and then seen some other. So I have high hopes for this. Um, we're going to sit this out for several hours today and see what happens. Wish Randy and all the rest of the guys luck. But uh, most importantly, in a selfish way, I hope I get a chance to shoot something. That's our first deer this morning. Three does, I think a doe and two fawns. Pretty good start, I'd say. Mr. Jim spotted a group of javelina a mile over there. I gotta decide if they're gonna stay in that little pocket where I can go after them. Or if they're gonna move off by the time I get over there. See if we can cover, well, a mile as the crow flies. By the time you do this, it's um, at least a mile and a half. So we'll see if they're still there by the time we get there.
just around the snow. We're gonna go to the top so we can look down on the side. I drug Michael down in here. This is the last blood I can find. And he's from here, 300 yards from where he got hit. And he stood here. We watched him from up there. I had a 36 yard shot. But you see all this cat claw and stuff? He's staying in there and I, I can't shoot. And uh, he stood here for a long time. And that's all the blood after all that time of standing there. I had to guess this little bit of blood here. I'm probably gonna make it. I still feel terrible for having it. That's about all I can find 300 yards from where he was hit. Frustrates me so bad when I don't do my job. I can make all the excuses in the world, but a 24 to 26 yard shot. Sorry, folks. Not the way we like to do things. Found the arrow stuck in the dirt right there. Bunch of dried blood and dirt on the shaft. Some on the fletching. There's a lot more brush here than I thought there was. He, 
we're standing he just cleared this little yucca plant here uphill and I was trying to thread it like right through this limb and these two limbs and he stopped but I don't see any blood even where I hit we know where he ran we marked that tree and there's a few little drops over there but I heard the impact and I heard him whining as he ran off I mean obviously we know he's hit but we don't until we look at the footage it's anybody's guess what uh, what the real story is but what the real story is folks is he's not dead and I've uh, failed in my job there are no excuses there's just bad shots and that's what this is is a bad shot I don't know what to do. It's I lost sight of him right here, about 50 yards below me. I've been all over. But I hit him for sure. And I mean I'm I'm done. I'm I don't go and shoot a second second one. The way I look at it, my tag is good for one animal, and when I hit it, I'm done. Which causes you to be a lot more careful, or try to be. And causes you to walk around through the briar patch and leave a bunch of skin down there. But I just, I don't know, I think he's still moving. I mean, that last shot I took, he bolted like he wasn't even phased. And just like when I don't know if we were even filming when he was when we thought he was gonna die, and then he ran over across the hill. He took off like a jet, and then he stopped about 80 yards away, and he's just looking. And then he stopped down here and just looking. <sighs> so. We'll look at it on the footage, maybe it'll tell us what happened. But just so disappointed in myself, that was a slam dunk shot. Go get our packs and explain to the world how I screwed it up. Some people might say, oh, it's just a javelina. Well, you know what, I don't care if it's a javelina, jackrabbit, moose, bear. All the same to me. to the 
same spot because this morning when I screwed up that javelina opportunity there was a really nice buck right down below us so but since I'm down to nothing but deer dick dick the grand prize Jim spotted a buck out here. We got about an hour of daylight. And the wind is coming this way, the buck's that way. I could try to get over there and I'd have a perpendicular wind. I'm sure he's gonna move some between now. Oh no, he just bedded. He did? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just when I said he's not gonna bed. Exactly. And then I agreed with him. I say we go sooner rather than later, Michael. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Got a shooting light. No luck. I didn't think he'd want to go over the other side because there's a road over there. I thought if Michael called, Michael's been calling every three or four minutes with the can. I can hear nothing calls as his prototype can go. But once he dropped over the crest, I never saw him again. So maybe that road didn't spook him. Your calling sounded really good. At least to a human. Well, now it's worth a try. Yeah, it's a cool buck. Uh, yeah really cool buck. And given what we had to work with, I think, I think we did this. Probably a better chance doing this than trying to sneak up there with the squirrely wind and all the noise and brush. I agree. Tomorrow's the last day. Hopefully. A couple tender ones in the back strap. Mm -hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. It's hard to slide down. Yeah. Can you slide out? That's pretty upset about the car. Some of you guys have to look at them. Mmm. <laughs> Good work, sir. Mm. Perfect. The only guy who makes what? Yeah. Man,